Okay, so the first thing to notice here is that the tick marks on the x-axis have to be closer together, otherwise it's going to be distorted because this is coming out towards you like fence posts, so you're going to see, that, see them as though they're closer together. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to draw a parallel pipid, and for our example, we're going to have vector 2, 4, 3, vectors 3, negative 2, 4, and 1, 1, 5 as our um, three vectors that determine the parallel pipe that I'm going to draw. Now you might want to use a ruler, but that would obscure what I'm doing, so I'm not going to use a ruler. I'm just going to have to go for it by hand, okay? So for 2, 4, 3, we come out 2 on the x-axis. Then we have to go 4 parallel to the y. But we go parallel like this, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it looks like you're across from the 3, but you're really not. Okay, you've really come four this way. And then we're going to go up. So I'll just put a dotted line there. Then we're going to go up three. One, two, three. So again, it looks like you're across from the two on the Z, but you're not. You've come up three. So that's our first vector. Yeah. Please excuse that if it's not completely straight. Okay, second one. Come out three on the x-axis. Then go negative 2. Now we're kind of in the middle of the block, so 1, 2 will end me up here. Oops. So about there. And then we're going to go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So my second vector is going to be like that. Notice that we always draw our vector in standard position, starting at the origin and going out to the point that uh, matches the vector co coordinates. Okay. Last one. One, one, five. One, now we're in the middle of the block, so there's one. We're in the middle of the block, so one, two, three, four, five. So there's our third vector. Oops, it's a little bit crooked, excuse me. Okay, now those are the three vectors that determine a corner of the parallel pipette. So to grow the, draw the rest of the parallel pipette, we just have to copy the other edges. So like as best I can. That's parallel and the same length. No, a little bit, a little bit longer, wouldn't it be? Parallel and the same length. Let me fix that a little bit. And then parallel to this one up here. And then parallel to that one. You might have to, you know, adjust it a little bit, erase, redo. Okay, so that's the, the left side, the right side, and now the top. I have to go parallel to that again. And then parallel to this one again. It's a little wonky. This, this looks like it should be a little bit more, but okay. Good enough for rock and roll. And then to make, uh, to finish it, we're going to do dotted lines going back into the, behind the front here. And then always parallel to what's already there. Not the best ever, but there's the idea. So this is the top, left, right, and then the bottom has dotty lines, and the back has dotty lines, and this back side has dotty lines. Okay, so hope that helps.